Colin, can you talk about um, the play that Frank sprung for 51 yards and just how you saw it from your vantage point? I just saw him break through. He uh, was probably the play of game for him breaking and staying in bounds. Had you guys talked in the huddle about staying in bounds in a situation like that, or, or that's just something that Frank knew as a veteran? That was Frank being Frank, being a football player. On your uh, quarterback sweep, is that, was that similar to the play that Alex ran against the Saints? Yes, yeah, similar. Similar? Uh, and what did, how did you see that unfold as you were? <laughs> Joe kicked his guy out. Snyder was pulling up through. I was following him. Colin, how do you like the uh, rivalry between you and the Seahawks' development? How's that working out? Enjoy that? It, it's always good to play close games, play tough, tough opponents. Phil Dawson, obviously, 4 4 today, made a huge difference in this game. How does that help you as a quarterback knowing that you have that consistency from your field goal, right? from short and long? It's great to have that. He, he's a great kicker. He's done a great job for us. Antoine, you were very successful today. And in your first game with him up in Seattle, you weren't that successful. What changed for you? Why were you able to do better today? Uh, first game, they, you know, they rolled a lot of coverage. Um, today, you know, we're having Crab back. Uh, we got different looks. Um, and it was allowing me to go one-on-one -on -one with, with certain guys. So uh, that's why you've seen the, the difference today. Is it a little different type of game against these guys because there's maybe more conversation on the field and maybe a higher level of intensity? I mean, for us, we're playing for our lives. I mean, you know, we're, we're trying to get in the playoffs. Um, so, you know, you'll see that from us. From here, I mean, from a couple of weeks ago, we're playing playoff football. You know, it's see the win or go home. That's how we feel. So, you know, every week that we come out, we're going to come out and, and perform at a high level. What happened on uh, Frank Gore's? The offensive line did a great job. He popped, cut back, and made a great play. Yeah, so listen, that run that run had been called maybe earlier in the game and you got him out of it because it wasn't the right look. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Anquan, uh, your coach insisted all week and again today that this game isn't bigger than any other game because you need them all as you alluded to, but this team and some of the games you played against them and how they've been doing this year. Was it, a, was it a big game? Was it a bigger game than others? Uh, like you said, all games are big at this point. Um, you know, we're trying to get in the playoffs. And, you know, you can't put one game above another. Um, every week is going to be that way for us. You know, we feel like we have to win each week going in. Hey, Kwame, you talked about the physicality and emotion of this game. It looked like you and Rick were really mixing it up in the secondary all day long. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, you know, that's the way that I play. If guys want to pretend to be tough and I mean, I look forward to it. Um, talking, that's just what they do. You know what I'm saying? So I let my play speak for itself. And when you crossed 11,000 yards for your career today, how much does that milestone mean to you? Nothing. I mean, for me, it's all about winning. I mean, point blank. That's it. Uh, yeah. Colin, uh, you guys had a little trouble in the red zone at times, and today, got the one. How big was the touchdown right before halftime? It was big. That's, I mean, if we get three instead of seven there, we lose the game. Colin, were you, were you discouraged when you had the, the pass intercepted down near the goal line when you tried to hit crab on that? No. Well, no. What happened on the pass? Uh, we were giving crab another shot. It was one on one. We thought we would take advantage. Colin, uh, the. Uh, your jersey exchange with Ricardo after the game. Was that something you guys would talk about earlier, or was it spontaneous after the game? It just happened after the game. A couple more for these Why guys. Why did you decide to do that? He's one of my good friends. And you've been through this before. We've been on a team that's gotten a role in December. Do you see how important are these games, and do you see any similarities to a team that can kind of get on a roll in your event? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, we're, we're getting hot at the right time, um, and that's what you want. Uh, you know, you want to be playing your best football in December, January. Um, so, I mean, for us, we feel like we're here in our stride. Um, we're still chasing that complete game. We don't feel like we, you know, put it all together just yet. Um, but I do feel like we're getting better each week. And we'll continue to strive to get better. And, you know, hopefully you guys will see us play that complete game uh, coming soon.